Hola a todos. Uh, my name is Doug Midori, and this is my presentation entitled Excessive BGP AS Path Prepending as a Self Inflicted Vulnerability. So let me fix a couple things here. Okay. So just to uh, define terms here, I think probably many people in the audience are familiar with uh, path prepending, but just to make sure we're all talking about the same thing here. Uh, what is AS path prepending? This is a technique used to, to deprioritize a route by artificially increasing the AS path length, AS path being a field in a BGP announcement. This prepending uh, refers to the rep repetition or the repeating of an ASN in an AS path, typically uh, to a subset uh, of adjacent ASs. So in this example here with a uh, portion of an AS path, this 4192 is a repeated AS. It was prepended one time. So it's uh, one time more than it would have been. And um, assuming all other criteria are equal, the BGP route selection process prefers the shortest AS path length, uh, the, the non-prepended route. And so therefore by prepending, you are deprioritizing uh, uh, a, a route over any alternatives if they exist. So with uh, prepending is rarely the root cause of a problem. Uh, this is a, uh, but over a little over 10 years ago, we did have a prepended ba prepending based uh, internet wide uh, series of outages. Uh, for those of you who have been around for a while, you might remember this in February, 2009. What happened in this case was um, uh, there was an errant announcement that caused uh, some Cisco routers to crash. Uh, it, um, originated with a command line difference between Microtik interface, uh, the Microtik interface and the Cisco interface where uh, in Cisco, the, uh, when you're, you were setting up prepending, the integer to the left of your AS was what AS you would like to see uh, prepended. Um, for Microtik, they attempted to try to save some keystrokes and the integer to the left was how many times you would like your uh, AS prepended. Someone entered 47,868 uh, into this uh, configuration, thinking that that was the same, the Microtik was the same as the Cisco, and they were telling the router to prepend 47,000 times. This value was only stored as the four, eight by eight bit integer, and so therefore it uh, rolled over many times and ultimately resulted in uh, creating an announcement with 252 prepends. Uh, that alone didn't cause any outages, but it turned out that they were, uh, there was a, a version of Cisco routers that would crash if they received an announcement more than uh, 255 uh, ASs in length. And uh, uh, when those um, announcements kept getting longer as they propagated through the internet, eventually this occurred and um, there were outages uh, all over the place. So the, um, this has long since been fixed, but Prepending um, uh, is often more of a footnote in uh, many routing incidents. So I write up a lot of uh, autopsies on routing, uh, 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 routing leaks, routing phenomenon. And um, I first learned of this phenomenon of uh, prepending, uh, amplifying the impacts of route leaks uh, back in April, 2010 uh, during the China leak. Um, China did not hij hijack 50% of the internet. Uh, as was reported at the time, this was mostly constrained. When you look at the routes, uh, how, they, how these routes were propagated through the internet, it was mostly constrained to Chinese routes. However, if uh, when I would when I go into looking at these incidents, I like to see you know what were the most uh, impacted by impact. I mean, uh, what were the routes that were uh, propagated, the leaked routes that were propagated the farthest, and uh, and try to understand why that was the case. Uh, in this case, if you look at the top five or even the top 10, there was a handful of prefixes in there that were US, uh, which um, was kind of surprising until you went in and looked at how these routes were normally announced. It turns out in this case, this is uh, back in 2010, uh, these, the slash 21 and slash 22 were announced with five prepends uh, to a single upstream. So essentially their AS path was very long to everyone. Uh, achieve, achieved no traffic engineering and just uh, incentivized some other AS to take over their address space. Um, so we brainstormed on what we would kind of refer to this uh, uh, this phenomenon. 
And um, we settled on prepended to all because excessive prepending could be the length, could be the, you know, it could be 20 uh, or more uh, uh, AS pa uh, 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 repeated ASs. And we're not so concerned about the length. Uh, it's about the fact that it is announced to everyone. Uh, and every, everyone being, you know, we have hundreds of BGP sources, they all see a route as prepended um, in the same way. Then that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a problem. Uh, if you were to go back and look at some of the other uh, write-ups we've done about uh, routing leaks, uh, we typically highlight prefixes that were uh, impacted uh, the most. And even in those cases, we were highlighting ones that were uh, prepended to a single upstream and therefore prepended to all, and they got whacked uh, during, this, uh, during these incidents. In fact, uh, even in the Telstra leak just a couple of weeks ago, there was, there was another uh, more incidence of prefixes that were prepended normally to a single upstream uh, were far greater impacted by the Telstra leak than um, uh, those that weren't. So uh, prepended uh, to all prefixes are, um, this is our term we're coining in this presentation. Um, those seen as prepended by all or nearly all, it doesn't have to be a 100% of uh, uh, ASs on the internet. And in this configuration, um, I'm asserting that uh, this prepending is no longer shaping route propagation because everybody's seeing the prepending. And it's uh, simply incentivizing another AS or other ASs to choose some other origin if one were to suddenly appear by mistake or otherwise. So how many prefixes are prepended to all? I've known about this for a decade. I never knew how much of the internet actually exists in this way. So we'll go through each of these tables here in the, uh, if we look at the V4 global routing table, um, the graph on the right, uh, uh, the y-axis is the percent of our BGP sources that see a route as, uh, as prepended. And so all the way on the left, uh, those, are, those are prefixes that every, all of our sources see as prepended. And then it, and there's a tail where it drops off However, there's, it's pretty fat on the left end of this graph. In fact, if you were to pick a line, it's a curve, so you have to pick a spot. If we pick, pick 95% of our sources see something as prepended, that results in 60,000 routes uh, of the global routing table. It's about 8% uh, when we ran this number, when they ran these numbers uh, a few months ago. 8% of the global routing table, or one in 12 routes, is prepended to all. Uh, and if you look at the list, it's entities of every stripe, governments, banks, internet infrastructure, uh, important things uh, are routed in this manner. Um, if we were to zoom in on the LACNIC region and uh, look at uh, the top 10 LACNIC countries uh, by prefix count, um, uh, just for, there's too many to go through them all. Um, we can see, you know, Brazil has got the highest number of prefixes that are prepended at all, but they also have the highest number of prefixes in total. The percentage is a little more than um, uh, than the global average. But if on this table on the right, we can see in descending order a list of countries, how many prefixes we track as uh, representing the V4 internet in that country, how many of those are prepended to all. So at least 90% of our BGB sources see prepending uh, for those routes. What's the percentage uh, that's of the total prefixes that are prepended to all? And what's the largest source and what, how much does that source contribute? And so the conclusions you can draw here from that analysis are that you know, Argentina, Colombia, and Ecuador have uh, highest percentages of the larger countries uh, internet-wise. And among them, uh, a couple of the incumbents are the biggest sources of uh, this prepending. So they are uh, prepending routes to a single upstream or sometimes to two upstreams or multiple upstreams, but there, there's no other way uh, that any of these routes are seen other than being prepended. Mexico, Peru, by this analysis, have very low percentages. Uh, V6, um, the table is a little smaller. The routing table is smaller. The, uh, the percentage of uh, prepending to all is also lower. Uh, this may be simply due to the fact that there's been less time to build up uh, the uh, cruft of uh, uh, traffic engineering over time. Um, there may be simply just less traffic engineering in V6, but the numbers are less. If we were to look at that zoom into the lactic region on the same you know, set of uh, 
uh, top 10 countries by V6 previous count. Um, you know, we see again, um, Colombia and Ecuador having very high percentages. Again, uh, um, incumbents uh, accounting for a large percentage of that. Um, and on this, by this analysis, Peru's got very low uh, prepending to all in uh, their V6 internet. So prepending is frequently employed in a manner, uh, in an excessive manner, such that it renders routes vulnerable to disruption or misdirection, accidental or otherwise. I'm talking about the otherwise here. So this is more of a theoretical. I, I was, I, I've never seen. Um, it would be hard to discover uh, uh, an actual case in the wild, but um, this is the, this is a theoretical risk here. So on a recent day, this is a real example. This slash eighteen was prepended to all like so. So it's prepended about 20 times to a single upstream, the slash 18. If an attacker uh, wanted to intercept traffic bound for this slash 18, they might announce something, fabricate an AS path, something along these lines, the one at the bottom here, where they get some uh, bulletproof hoster to, who'd be willing to announce anything. And those certainly exist. Uh, craft an AS path that's got the same origin, maybe a, a prepend to make it look uh, plausible, look like it's uh, similar to the um, legitimate route, uh, even add an upstream um, to make it look real and then uh, announce that on the internet. And then some portion of the internet will uh, accept these routes uh, and send, send traffic based on them. <clears throat> this length of the prepending gives the, an attacker room to craft a AS path that would appear plausible, it would comply with origin validation. The origins would be intact uh, and not be detected by off the shelf route monitoring, uh, which typically looks for unauthorized origins, unauthorized upstreams, uh, that you could comply with all those things and still end up hijacking uh, traffic. We looked also uh, at, you know, what does this look like temporally? So over time, uh, is this, uh, is this to stay the same? Is there a universal constant through time? And it turns out that this is actually kind of getting worse over time. Over this period of analysis, we looked at how much of the V4 and V6 tables are prepended to 90% of our BGP sources. Um, and we see this creeping up over time. Uh, so the global routing table grows at a certain rate, but the percent of the routing table uh, that is prepended to all is growing at, uh, we estimate about, half a percent a year uh, in V4 and 0.2% a year in V6. So this is actually getting worse. So in an inadvertent origin leak, like we saw with Telstra just a couple of weeks ago, uh, could disrupt traffic to the affected routes. And accidents happen. We know this, there's been many routing leaks. There will be more routing leaks in the future. Um, so why would someone deliberately put, your, put their routes at risk by prepending to, um, uh, to all their upstreams or to a single upstream. Why does this uh, take place? So we decided we would go uh, um, uh, ask a few operators that were that do this and see if they could explain um, what's the purpose. And uh, the first one we stopped at was AS30321, which you might not know, but you should. Uh, this is the, uh, the network of the Burning Man Festival, which is a kind of counterculture festival in the Western part of the United States um, in the desert. And they apparently have an AS and they route their own traffic, uh, which was a surprise to me. But it turned out one of my colleagues knows one of the guys on the NetOps team so we got in touch with them, uh, asked them if they could explain why uh, they're prepending to all. Uh, they fixed it um, and uh, uh, said that it was a mistake and it shouldn't be there. Um, and so we, uh, we moved on. We never got an explanation there. We also went to other, uh, other name brand entities like Cloudflare and Google, brought them some examples of ex excessive prepending. Uh, they, to their credit, also uh, removed these, um, uh, this uh, prepending, excessive prepending. And so, uh, you know, we give them a thumbs up uh, that they were uh, at least as responsive as the uh, the NetOps team from the Burning Man Festival. Um, most, actually, most most people who we asked uh, either didn't respond or claimed it was an operational uh, issue, and uh, thus it re it remains to this day. Most of this prepending um, is still there. So why uh, why does this happen? How do we how does this uh, um, why does this getting worse, and why is there a lot of it? Uh, I think. 
you know, from talking with people who were involved in this, came up with a handful of theories. And the first one probably uh, accounts for a lot of it. And that is poor housekeeping. Uh, so an AS forgets to remove prepending uh, when it's no longer needed. I can, you can envision a case where you, an AS has two upstreams. They wish to prepend in, for one of them. That's okay. Uh, the non-prepended upstream were to go away for some reason. And now they're just announcing a prepended route to the internet uh, for everybody. I think that might, might explain a lot of this. Um, something we're also in, in, uh, encountering a lot is uh, return path influence. So people want to, uh, network operators want to affect how the traffic returns to their um, uh, network and uh, especially trying to help encourage it to go over peering links. And the theory here is to basically prepend to the whole internet deliberately in order to try to force uh, other networks to send traffic uh, back over the peering links. Um, this, is a, this is a risky uh, tactic because if you ever do need to use the internet for uh, communication, then again, if there's a leak or something, uh, if someone were to try to do something malicious, uh, you, your routes are vulnerable uh, to getting misdirected. Um, lastly, uh, mistakes abound. If you have uh, spent any time looking at BGP uh, uh, data, you can see that there's a lot of prepending, uh, a lot of lot of errors of, of various stripes. And this this is an example again from this region. Oh no, this is not from this region, but this is a, a, a good one where if you look at this, you've got a, four, a repeating four by AS. However, if you look very closely, the final two digits of this AS uh, go from 2929 to 9292, 2929.92. They're repeating. There's an error here that's getting repeated. Uh, there are a lot of mistakes. And uh, I think this just isn't a priority to go and clean up uh, some of these things that we um, are reporting on here. So to summarize this, um, long AS paths, whether due to prepending or not, if you're a, a network in Tajikistan and you have to go through Kazakhstan and then Russia, you're gonna have a long AS path and you uh, uh, incur a risk of disruption just by virtue of a long AS path. Um, any event that, where an a, another AS originates your same prefix with a shorter AS path, it could disrupt uh, traffic um, heading to your routes. Uh, we would recommend the network operators go back and look at their prepending, make sure it's uh, it's necessary and it's uh, it's, so it's serving a purpose for traffic engineering. Uh, I think much of it is not. Uh, if you uh, want to contact me, and uh, I can give you, uh, I can see if we saw any of uh, any networks, uh, any routes from your network um, that we classified as excessive prepending. Um, I'd be happy to share that information. Um, but otherwise, in summary, you know, with eight. 8% of the V4 table and 5.6% of the V6 routing table uh, pre presently prepended to essentially the whole internet. Uh, you know, we, we believe that this uh, traffic engineering technique is overused and maybe out of hand. If you're interested in more in this, uh, on this topic, there was a recent paper uh, published in IMC uh, this year uh, by Pedro Mar Marcos. Uh, looking at, um, he, he kind of took it, look, looked at this problem from a, a little bit of a different angle, but uh, you know, some similar conclusions. Uh, there is also, uh, based on this analysis, uh, a, a draft IETF best practice uh, that's um, uh, in the works. And um, if you want to participate on that, uh, we'd love your input. And with that, uh, that concludes my presentation. Muchas gracias, Doug, por tu presentación. Vamos Thank a... you, Doug, for your presentation. Let us wait and see if anyone has questions. We'd like to invite participants to ask your questions through the Q&A panel. No sé, Doug, si quieres, eh, agregar algo más. Doug, would you like to add anything? No, no thank you. Eh, aquí tenemos una pregunta, un espectador anónimo. Eh, la voy a hacer en español. ¿Cuál es el largo máximo? We have a question here. What is the maximum length of an AS path? Longest AS, AS path allowed. Um, 
I'm not sure you can uh, create one longer than 255 uh, anymore, but I guess that would depend on the, um, uh, the router. Um, I think uh, I, I, I've given this presentation at some at RIPE and Nanog, and I know that uh, some operators did it, announce that they filter uh, AS paths longer than like 30 or 40 uh, uh, ASs in length. So at some point, if it keeps getting longer, uh, then uh, people are going to start dropping your, your routes. You may have some connection problems, but you only need uh, you know, five or less prepends to uh, given the given the average AS path length across the internet. Uh, depending on your situation, you may be very you may have very long AS paths, but um, you shouldn't have to prepend more than uh, a couple of times to achieve a deprioritization of a route. 